Whoa, let it all go. Whoa, bum, 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 bum. Welcome back to LSJ TV. Mm. What we have here is 150 grams of egg whites. Hang on. One hundred and fifty grams of egg whites, one whole egg and one bagel thin. Fifteen grams of ketchup and two squibs of salt. Squibs? Turns? Grapes, you know the one. So one thing I like to do when entering a dieting phase, be it a small dieting phase and you know, we're not getting shredded or anything. One thing I like to do when you're dieting, food can be kind of boring. It can be same old, same old and, and that can get well really boring. And I don't have bagels really when I'm, when I'm bulking. And so it's just like a nice thing especially if you have the thinner ones then that you can still have and, and, and not feel too bad about it, you know? The ketchup that is squibbed on top, I actually just went side to side with the um, bottle and I'm pretty good at eyeballing ketchup now because I've been training for sort of two or three years and to start off with I did track every single thing and one thing that I mastered, funnily enough, was um, how much ketchup I was allowed to have. I hope you guys are excited for today's video. Drop a like if you are, comment down below, subscribe if you are new, and let's get shredded, sort of. <laughs> So this isn't going to be a full day of eating or anything like that. I'm just going to kind of show you the kinds of things. Wow, that's bright. This isn't going to be a full day of eating. This is just going to be like, well, literally the first day. And I'm going to show you kind of what I'm doing, a little bit of what I'm eating, a little bit of what I'm training. And yeah, watch this. <laughs> Flick claims me straight away. Yeah. Don't you, Flicky? Yeah. And then Jesse tries to figure a way in. Mm? Hey, guys, by the way, Jesse had a haircut the other day. Didn't you, Jess? Jess, check this out. Look at her tiny little ears. Normally, her ears are massive and her tail's massive. <laughs> Just turn into the little runt that you are, don't you, Jess? You wanna go out, doggies? Good girls. Go play! Be free! Okay, so, the next task of the day is to train. It's gonna be back day, so like a pool day, um, followed up by some cardio. Um, the reason being, on the new spin bike, of course. The reason being, I actually woke up the other day, um, at 188 pounds, a whole five pounds heavier than the previous mark slash starting point um, of the diet that we kind of said we were at. And it seems like every single pound of that went onto my face. <laughs> So a quick half hour, that's literally um, literally all it has to be. I've not even done, you know, a high intensity. I've just been going, you know, around about 50, 60, 70 reps per minute for half an hour. Um, and I've literally done, hold up, I have done 
175 calories. The intensity has not been massive. I've just been getting my knee kind of used to moving again. Um, Cause you know, I, I haven't trained legs for a while. I feel like it's kind of seized up almost, which is not, um, is not great. So I'm a little bit out of breath as you guys can tell. Um, but I've not exactly been really pushing it, you know? Just focusing on getting it moving. Just getting into it, you know, slowly but surely. We've got time. We've got, you know, another 90 days to, to lose the weight. So we'll take it easy. We'll see how it goes. So today I'm going to be following up the session with another 30 minutes on the spin bike. Taking it easy, just getting my legs moving, getting the blood pumping around in the area because I don't want to do anything too crazy. I don't, I don't want to push it too much just when it's starting to get a little bit better. Because if that happens, I'll just re-injure myself and, and get demotivated. You see, it's really, really easy to kind of get demotivated with this kind of stuff, right? Especially when you're struggling with like a knee injury or like a shoulder, whatever, if you're struggling one way or another, then it can be hard, it, it, can, it can discourage you, you know, I'm starting in the next phase in my training right now, and immediately I have a barrier to what I want to achieve, I, I can't go full throttle with cardio, you know, the best I can do is tidy up my diet a little bit and, and, and hope that makes a little bit of difference to start off with. Start off with a little couple hundred calories, that's all it has to be for now, until my knee gets fully fully better and I don't know I, I mean I, I finished and I, I feel good I'm, I might not sound it I feel I feel good I feel great I feel like I've actually accomplished something I had a solid session as well but it can be very very easy to to get demotivated and to just forget where you've come from because at the end of the day I look at pictures recently in particular of, of where I started in terms of where um, where I was before university, where I was kind of after first year, you know, I have a funny transformation. I've gone, gone from kind of skinny, kind of rugby player to first year fat to now. You know, it's a weird, it's a weird journey and one that you don't see a lot. Um, and sometimes I let it get in my head that, you know, I haven't really gone anywhere. But then I look at these photos and I think, shit, you know? You've worked hard, you've, you've made some progress and it's good and it's important to remember that. And so take pictures, take videos. It might seem vain because it is. You know, you are taking a picture of yourself in the mirror like I was just flexing in front of the mirror, flexing my legs in front of a bunch of people stood right there. But in a year's time, they will have forgotten that they saw me flexing my, my legs in front of the mirror and, and I will still have that footage to look back on, reflect upon and help motivate me moving forward. So even though it might seem vain and people might laugh, you know, because it's, it's a weird thing to do, like talking to a camera, like, you know, it's, it's, it's weird. It's still not fully kind of understood. But if it helps motivate you and it helps keep you moving forwards towards the goal that you want to achieve, fuck everybody else. Do it. get talking about the important stuff, right? Calories, 2,210 calories, 250 grams of carbs, 190 grams of protein, and 50 grams of fat. Okay, that's, to be honest, kind, kind of low to, to start off with, right? But we're just gonna go with it, we're just gonna roll with it, see how it goes. In terms of eating, like food when I'm at work, the plan is to prep a little more, be a little bit more organized with it, whether that be cooking chicken and veg and all that kind of stuff in advance, like pasta, 
all that kind of stuff will be weighed, tracked, and hopefully that will kind of speed the process on a little bit at least. In terms of cardio, um, I'll be doing twice a week to start off with. Just a basic kind of speed, no real tempo, more of a low intensity kind of steady state type thing, which is ironic because we have a spin bike which is meant for a little bit more high intensity stuff, but just for personal preference, what I'm into, I can get some emails done, I can reply to you guys, I can plan videos, I can, I can do stuff like this whilst I'm doing this if I do low intensity steady state as opposed to a high intensity interval training kind of format, if you like. So this or something along these lines will be done twice a week. Bearing in mind I'm still not training legs because of my knee, which is not ideal. Um, this is kind of my way of, you know, I've already mentioned it, gradually kind of introducing leg work back into, into the program. So that will leave me with three training days, two of which will have cardio after it, whether it be here or at work or wherever, it's not important. I think I'll stick to the bike just for a consistent kind of form of tracking. To be honest, I just enjoy it more than anything. And so I think I'll stick to this on the basis that if I don't enjoy what I'm doing, I'm less likely to stick to it, less likely to commit to it. And I do enjoy this, so this is what I'll stick to. Simple as really. So all of that kind of stuff, sticking to the macros, cardio twice a week and staying consistent with my training and stuff, I feel like I'm gonna see results with that. The goal is only one pound a week, and so we can easily make changes as we're going along. Um, you know, we're gonna be taking it easy, just slightly out of breath like this for a good sustained period of time. This isn't a competition prep, we're not getting shredded. We are simply just losing a bit of weight, seeing where we're at, feeling a little bit good, a little, a little bit better about ourselves, you know? So, that is it in a nutshell, really, guys. If I've missed anything, if you have any questions, um, feel free to let me know in the comment section down below. If you have enjoyed today's video, please let me know by leaving a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Click that notification bell, wherever it may be. Uh, I have no idea, people watch on phones, laptops, Playstations, or I have no idea where it is. <laughs> Click the notification bell. If you press that button, guys, you will not miss out on a single thing because YouTube possibly should theoretically send you a notification. Although YouTube does love to shoot creators like myself in the backside nowadays. So anyway, click it just to make sure. Thank you guys so much for watching. Once more, drop a like, comment down below, subscribe if you are new. Let me know your thoughts on today's video. Slightly different. I'm going to carry on, smash out this cardio for another 10 minutes, and I will see you in the next one. Oh, let's go. That was so fake. I'm just for the camera, I'm not even going to lie.